Hey everyone, let's talk about Morph System of Throne and Liberty. All over different kind of social media, I have seen lots of questions regarding this System of Throne and Liberty. So for this evening, I have a special presentation for you. You will see all the morphs available in the game so far. Before we start, let me just say subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more of Throne and Liberty videos in the future. As you can see, I'm already here on this part of the user interface dedicated to morphs. So let's start with the basic morphs here. You will see many interesting morphs in the game here, even some funny ones looking like this, like this, or maybe even like this, right? And also useful ones, right? For gliding, for running, for gliding, and also for swimming. Let's start with dash kind of morphs. Basically, very soon, when you start to level up your character, you'll get these morphs. Basically, in this game, we don't have any mounts. You are using these morphs to be able to run faster, to be able to glide throughout air, not uh, flying, only gliding, and also to swim. But not only that, there are special morphs which you are using for many other purposes. For fun, for example, like this one or maybe not even for fun. You can pretend to be this orc, right? Or maybe this sea crab, and then mobs will not attack you because you'll be in this morph. So let's start with uh, normal morphs. Let's check what we have here regarding running. You will notice here also uh, growth points. Some morphs have better growth points, some not that good. Let's start with these basic morphs. These morphs you'll get uh, basically during your leveling process very soon. Some of them you can earn throughout different kind of events in the game. Achievements also. Some can be earned by doing different kind of missions in open world. This one is looking nice. Diatrima. This one is funny when you use it in the game. Let's check next one. Oh, this one is good, right? We like this one. Let's go further. These uh, have, right, uh, growth points 15. You'll see there are some really, really good looking. And I have no doubt, uh, right, many players will collect these morphs uh, just for collection, without any doubt, right? And some of them actually have some useful purpose. I'll show you that a little bit later. Ancient Tanyon. Beautiful colors. It's also something very important to say. When you are uh, deciding regarding color of your hair for your character in character creation, be careful regarding that. Because color of the fur of the animal you transform in will have color of your hair. What that actually means, I'll show you a little bit later during uh, this video. But uh, color of your hair will determine color of the fur of the animal. Don't forget about that. Let's go further with Proud Tion, Tion, Rosette, Purpuma. This one is beautiful, right? Look at these colors. Let's go further. Funny looking. So many morphs already now or there on service in Korea and there will be much more in the game. This one is funny. Look at this rabbit, right? This is good one. Let's check this one. Winter one. It's funny to run uh, like this animal in open world. A lightning Purpuma. Oh, this one is good. Check this out, right? Extraordinary. Fluffy. Fluffy one, right? Also looking good. Phantom. Yeah, absolutely. Many players will collect uh, these uh, morphs just for collection, for no other reason for sure. Some you can get uh, in the shop very rarely. Usually you can get them completely for free in the game from different kind of events, achievements, maybe different kind of quests, uh, rewards, right? And also during leveling. Normally during leveling you can get already these basic ones, right? These morphs are now for flying. There are so many of them. I want to show you all of them this evening. That's why I'm going so fast, right? Because there are so many morphs currently in the game that is incredible. Monarch Raven. There are Ravens also. Morrigan Raven. Nice, right? Noble Eagle. These morphs you'll use for gliding. Raging Eagle. Emperor Eagle. 
Every now and then I see developers of this game, NCSoft, they're adding uh, new morphs to the game. I have no doubt that there will be uh, more morphs in the future. But already now, this collection is pretty much impressive, right? Whatever you can see here happening on servers in Korea, right? We'll get also in global version of the game sooner or later. Maybe not everything at least, but we'll get it uh, for sure. Storm Raven. Ooh, this one was looking good. Let's see again this uh, animation. Again, you see this? Storm Raven, incredible. This one. This one is looking so good. Check this out, right? Nice, we like these ghost ravens, right? And for swimming, let's check it out. A Rowin Latrang, reset one. For swimming, funny animals, you'll enjoy using them. Turtle, just to mention here, for example, you notice regarding turtle, takes no damage over time in lava areas. That is very important. So these morphs are not pay to win. Absolutely not pay to win. However, some morphs have some special effects. Nothing pay to win, but for example, if you land in lava, if you start to walk in lava in different kind of open world dungeons deep uh, over there in abyss, you will die. You'll take damage and die. But if you are using, for example, turtle morph in lava, not only that you'll be able, not only that you're not going to die, you'll be able to swim in lava. If you start to swim, for example, in this morph in lava, you're dying. That's it. You're dead. Or on this morph. However, if you are using any turtle, any turtle morph, you are not going to die. Uh, you're not going to die in lava. Interesting, right? There are some other uh, useful things to know. I'll talk about that in a second. But let's check a little bit what we have regarding swimming. This one is nice, right? Let's check this one. Again, right? Uh, turtle, look at this. Takes no damage over time in lava areas. And also, growth points 15. That is actually pretty good. Astra. Beautiful graphic design, that is not even in question. Developers of this game have done a really amazing job, not only regarding morphs, right? But in general, you can see in this game, beautiful. Oh, look at this one. Oh, look at decoration, incredible details, right? Let's go further with this turtle. Again, each turtle have that special lava effect, right? Shark. We have in early access package one of the sharks, more some kind of dark, uh, dark uh, purple kind of shark, right? Here we have this ghost uh, shark, right? So these were like kind of morphs which you are using for, for running, for gliding and for swimming. Then we have special morphs. We have these uh, funny morphs. Let me show you here, right? Uh, for fun. It's interesting to transform in these morphs in open world. It's kind of funny, you know. This is small one, and this, and this one is big one. <laughs> Look at this. And we have this. However, we have also this shape shifting. Now, this is very, very important. You will notice here, we don't have any special effects, for example, for these morphs, but how to use them. You are using these morphs, specifically different kind of shape shifts to be able to avoid aggroing mobs. Now, not every shape shift will not aggro every other mob. Nevertheless, similar, similar shapeshifts will not aggro different mobs. So you can transform, for example, in this uh, scarab, right? You can go somewhere on the coast, on the beach, and other mobs will not aggro you. You will not aggro other mobs. You know what I mean, right? You'll be able to move freely between, uh, in the, right, between the mobs. This one is nice also. Goblin, absolutely. You want to go with goblin, right? You want to go in some goblin area, transform into this goblin. Let's go, let, let's do it. Look, I'm goblin now, look at this. And what that means, if I go somewhere now in the goblin area, other goblins will not notice me. Look at this, I'm really funny looking, right? <laughs> this is so funny, right? You can have lots of fun with this. Look how funny is this one walking. Yeah, it's insane, right? But they are also, right, useful for many other reasons, like I said, because you can use these morphs, right, uh, just uh, to pretend that you are one of the mobs and they will not attack you. Let's check Orc. Yes, I can also transform into this. Let's do this for fun. Look at this. My character is now this big Orc. 
And if you have some area with orcs, you transform. You cannot attack, obviously, right? Directly, you can indirectly you can, from this form, but uh, you'll be able to ride transform in this and at least for some period of time you'll be able to pretend that you are orc and other mobs in that area shouldn't attack you specific area specific uh, right uh, shape shifting you need to use right let's check this work spider then we have here sea crab if i go over there on the coast uh, i turn into this other crabs will not attack me right spider you will use this uh, during leveling Head Crusher. This one is very important. You'll use that in one of the open world dungeons of Throne and Liberty. Skeleton Soldier. Wow, look at this one. Plague Zombie. And like I said, they are not uh, hard to get. Most of them you are unlocking throughout your gameplay. Special events, achievements, uh, quests. Uh, look at this knight. Even this, Flame Fighter. Desert Cobra. If you see other Cobras in that region, you don't want to aggro any Cobra. Turn into Desert Cobra. That's it. Deadly Mandrake also. You will see different kind of biomes, different kind of mobs in open world. You will see Mandrake in the open world, right? Armadillo, absolutely. One of the mobs in open world. This one also. Sand Basilisk. Another Orc. And we have Butcher here on the end, right? So many different kind of morphs you'll be able to use and enjoy, right? Uh, with uh, using these morphs in open world of Throne and Liberty. Uh, I know that many players will collect them. You'll find them here on this part of the user interface. Uh, most interesting ones, absolutely these ones for playing, right? And these ones, very beautiful ones, right? For dashing, for gliding. We have seen here this, right? Check this out. Incredible, right? Or this one maybe. Or maybe funny, fluffy, like this one. Why not, right? Check different kind of morphs. For well, this evening, I wanted to show you full presentation, all the morphs currently available on servers in Korea. Thank you for watching the video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Twitch. And see you soon with another Throne and Liberty video.